All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're here. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader, a forex trader. I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, hey, uh, we're going to jump into the Bitcoin chart and uh, see what we can see. We're also going to look at Ethereum today. Litecoin chart's a little bit of an enigma to me and I uh, haven't had a chance to prepare it as of yet. So uh, just take the analysis from Bitcoin and Ethereum and apply it to the Litecoin chart. And uh, it's often uh, very, very helpful. So let's jump into the market. Don't forget, I'm not a uh, financial advisor and this is not financial advice uh, do your own due diligence as you study this market I'm just sharing how I see the market and how I'm trading it but I'm not telling you how to sp spend your money uh, that's not what I'm here to do all right let's jump in uh, I've got a couple counts here I'm not I don't have time to go across over the macro right now uh, count uh, as of now but I believe we're in a WXYXZ um, and we're forming the uh, the X wave of the Z wave um, so that's kind of where we are. So um, I said I wasn't going to go over the macro. I just did. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's going to be a, that X wave is going to be a three wave move. I've got a couple of ways of interpreting this. So let's jump in and see how we can interpret that wave. Okay. Let's see. One hour chart. <sighs> couple ways of looking at this this particular wave right here but uh, my bias is that it's a uh, leading diagonal right there it's a five wave leading diagonal that means I'm looking for a, a three wave pullback and then a five wave move to the upside okay now uh, what we got here is a really really complex structure and I'll tell you what it's supremely hard to interpret but I think uh, I think I have uh, I've got two ways of interpreting it and I want to share it with you first off uh, I want to show you where the fibs came down to when then this retrace of this wave that came down off the top of the a wave or the one wave uh, it only came to the 50% and it shot back up did not hit those 618 which it uh, normally likes to do uh, it didn't even come down to the 786 did didn't even test this uh, area of the market that everybody's watching <coughs> excuse me so um, what is that to say? Is this is this wave finished? Well, it certainly feels like it's finished. Now I've got a count on the screen that's a little different. I'm going to show you uh, what I think everybody is mostly looking at right now. That everybody's expecting that this is uh, some kind of uh, A, B, and C, and uh, certainly that is a possibility. And I'm watching that myself. Uh, but what are the other possibilities so that we can be nimble as traders and maybe catch the rest of this leg if we're going up? Looking uh, looking here, up here to the $8,500 region, if we have a one-to-one -one extension off of this A wave, A, B, and C, if that goes to a one-to-one -one extension, uh, this is forming like the one wave, right? And we're going to get a two, a three, and a four, or five, like that. I'm uh, going to get a five wave move to the upside like this. I uh, would expect that to... Uh, uh, come on up here and reach somewhere between 85, 84, and nine thousand dollars. The one to one extension of the one two seven six. So that's a possibility. Want to let you know about it. Uh, but what is the likelihood of it? Well, I'll tell you what, this market has been such um, such a bear with expanded flats. Uh, I want to talk to you about the, the possibility that this is actually just a very very tricky expanded flat, much like we had already let me show you what an expanded flat looks like an expanded flat in Elliott wave basically is a structure basically where you have a three wave uh, let's see a three wave a and a three wave B and a five wave C it's a three three five and the hallmark of the expanded flat is that the B wave comes lower than the origin of the A wave it makes it feel like you have a reversal on your hand or you're going deeper but in fact you have a swift reversal after you hit uh, a particular extension now the common extension uh, for that if you'll notice is the one two three six let me show you right here um, the uh, retrace, uh, the retrace of the B against the A is the one, two, three, six. You can see in this particular expanded flat, it's exactly what we did. Let me just show you uh, something to at least consider as you think about this market yourself. We have uh, a retrace here of the A wave right there. And you can see how we've come. We came and we wicked actually past the one two three six and came to the one six one eight. Just depends on how I how I draw those fibs, but that's uh, that's pretty decent right there. Uh, but anyway, we're still uh, that's a possibility. Uh, this came <coughs> the extension of this wave actually came to the two six one eight, and uh, some people are like, well, that's too deep. Well, not not really because the last expanded flat we had actually came to the 2618 extension up here. I'll show you that as well just to kind of show you this expanded flat.
came to the 2618 right here when we had this is the October 25th rally where it moved three thousand dollars in one day and that's often what happens you get a big pump uh, you get a move to the downside that makes a lower low and then and but it's only three waves and then it makes a quick high uh, that that to me uh, is the way I'm making sense of this wave and so basically to put my count back on here uh, that would have this is a this whole thing is B and now we need to come down for a C leg uh, that's the way I'm looking at that wave um, I'm actually looking to short this wave if we get another hit to the high or if we get kind of another push up I'm gonna be looking to uh, short that wave most likely um, let's see where would this go we uh, let's see Yep. Oh, likely would come down here to the 1276 extension right here in this region uh, 6976 to 6777 now if this isn't like if this doesn't happen that we, we have other options but uh, just keep in mind that this is a possibility we might even just retest this 70 uh, well this isn't drawn very good here There we go. Yeah, the 1276 or the 1618 is probably a more likely C wave there uh, when we get down here close to the region right here at the bottom of this area. That's also going to be confluent, I, I believe, or at least close to the 618 retrace. Let's check that guy out. Uh, actually, it's confluent with the 786 retrace. So if we get down here. So let's watch out for that scenario. I wanted to at least put it on the table as a possibility. Uh, so. Um, Da, da, da. Let me put a box here, a target box down here in this region right here. This is a good time to hit print screen, and you can screenshot that uh, for the video. All right, um, now what else uh, might we be looking at here? Um, well, we could be just dealing with an A. Um, all this is B, and then um, we're. Uh, let me try this again. Could have some something like a. This is a really hard wave to count, but like a W, X, Y, X, Z, something like that. Um, w, X, Y, X, Z. Ah, I don't like that. I think the W needs to come down there. There's three waves there. This is better. There you go. That's better. Yeah. W, X, Y. Uh, y x z that accounts for three waves in all of those right there uh complex corrections super hard wave to count i don't like it uh, not not a big fan <coughs> i don't like counting this as five waves right here which is another possibility one might try to do because this is a three wave move right here then you could say that's the expanded flat and then we're coming down uh, yeah. It's just hard to say, guys. It's just really hard to say. Uh, the, the count is really, really difficult right in here. I'm not sure that I have a perfect bead on that on that guy. So A, B, C, D, E. I'm just looking at the triangle possibility in here, but it just doesn't fit. Uh, it doesn't fit at all. So uh, yeah, that's what that's what I'm kind of looking at here is this expanded flat. I'm betting we're going to come on down here for a C wave, and that doesn't put us down. That just puts us down here, and then we're going to go long here. Uh, for so basically the, the trade shape is something like this like that and that's going to get us up to the one-to-one -one extension at the top there let's see where that would put us if we get down there at all if we do just being prepared for this scenario here uh, if we come down to that region, somewhere around $8,200 to $8,700 uh, would be a one-to-one -one extension here and that puts us Puts us right in this region right here, uh, retesting you know this section of the chart. Uh, I also retest the top right here of this region. So there's structure here that uh, may be uh, part of uh, worth at, worth at least looking. So there's a possibility. Uh, we could just be going straight up from uh, from here. We need a two wave retrace. Let's talk about that scenario as well. Um, if we get a retrace uh, two wave here, let me show you what I'm saying. Let me clear the chart. There we go. Uh, if, if, if we're just getting A and now we're getting B and now we're getting C, uh, and we're going to get up here somewhere in the $8,500 region. My fibs aren't drawn perfectly. Um, 
it was 85. There we go. We get up there to 85. We need five waves getting up there because this was a five wave move as well. So five, three, five. We need. Uh, so we've already had the first five. If if we got it, one, two, three, four, five. So wait for this two wave pullback, about 50% pullback, uh, and then and look to go long. That's going to be hard to say. Uh, that's going to be. It's going to be hard to see here because uh, if it's coming down here uh, for, uh, you know, to finish the C wave, that's, you know, you may have to keep your stops tight uh, for that long because if it continues down, you may have to stop that trade out. So be careful about that. So there are my two options on the table, guys. Uh, which one is more likely? I, I, I lean towards the expanded flat idea, guys. Uh, I, one of the reasons I do that is because of Ethereum. And if you look at Ethereum, let me zoom out here. It's a lot clearer. It's a lot planer the shape is a lot easier to see and so basically you got a three wave move w here we got a uh then we've got a three wave move and then a three wave move and then a five wave move now we might have one more push to the upside to finish that five wave move out or it's done but the idea here is that here is the shape of the expanded flat boom 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 uh oh well, come on. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, and what? let me show you a couple things here. Let me show you the retrace tool on this guy right here. See how this one came right to the 1, 2, 3, 6. So that, that's beautiful. And then the extension of the, uh, of, when we run the extension off of the bottom there, uh, we came to the 1, 2, 7. Uh, often we come to the 1, 6, 1, 8, but it's still corrective in nature as far as the shape of that wave. So that's a high probability, guys, and, and Ethereum looks to me to be telling the tale. So I would expect there to be another move to the downside here. Um, basically, we would have the basic shape of A, B, and C like that, or W. This would actually be W, X, and Y. Okay. All right, so those are the options I'm looking for. I've got a lot more to say. I got some uh, market maker things I wanted to teach you today, but I don't have time today. It's my birthday. It is my birthday. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go celebrate. I'm going to go take the day off a little bit. Just kind of been relaxing today and uh, just wanted to uh, get this video out to you. And uh, we'll bring some information about market makers tomorrow that I wanted to share with you so you can understand why does the market always come back and uh, what can that, how can that information help us in our trading. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share comments. Uh, please comment it up today for me. Let's get 100 comments. That'd be sweet, uh, uh, even if you have to leave 10 of them yourself. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. I hope you, hope you uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.